We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you once again with another message that will bless you and help you to go to a greater glory. We serve a good God. We serve a God who loves us. We serve a God who is with us, a God who never leaves us, a God who never, ever forsakes us. And he leads us in the way that we must go. My dear friend, I want to speak to you today and the title of my message is It Takes Courage to See Your Dream and Vision Come to Pass. Let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit and then I'll share on this very important topic because the lack of courage holds back a lot of people from achieving great things that they want to do in their lifetime. Let us begin. Precious Holy Spirit of God, we welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control and help us to pray. Help us to press in. Help us to receive from the Father even today. And take us to a greater glory and a greater level. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the Bible says in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9, it says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you, wherever you go. I'll read that to you once again. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now, as I begin, it is very important to distinguish between doing dangerous things that God hasn't called you to do and doing what God has called you to do with courage. They are two totally separate things. And what I'm talking to you about over here is when God has spoken to you and you have confirmed it and you know like you know that God is calling you in a certain direction and it takes courage to go in that direction. It takes boldness. Remember when God speaks to you, he will always speak in line with his word. He will never tell you to do something that contradicts his word. He speaks to you in line with his word. It says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And this scripture that we see here, is in the context of when the people of God were doing what God had sent them to do. It's very important that we stay in the confines of the leading of God and the confines of the Word. Let the Word of God be our final and our main authority, showing us the way that we must go, the right way, the way that leads to life. There's many times in our purpose, our destiny, in our God-given vision that we will be afraid. Even though we know that God has called us to go in a certain direction. And that fear is not an uncommon thing. So it's not something that should make you feel bad or make you feel discouraged about. It's not something that should make you feel condemned or make you feel guilty. Everyone faces that to a certain extent. Because oftentimes when God calls you and he gives you a vision, that vision may be scary sometimes because it requires you to get out of your comfort zone. Now what do I mean by getting out of your comfort zone? 
getting out of a place that you are in where you're comfortable and you stay there only because you're comfortable but you have the skill and God has called you and given you the green light to get out of that comfort zone and move to a greater glory. And that is what it means by getting out of your comfort zone as God leads you. As God has called you, I encourage you, be strong. Be of good courage. Walk in that purpose and destiny. If He has called you to business, be strong as you do that business. If he has called you to a certain career, be strong as you push forward and you develop yourself and your skills in that career field. If he has called you to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, be strong and courageous as you do so. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, don't be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And He will guide you, He will see you through. I trust, know and believe, wherever you are, God is with you. And He is speaking to you. You see, the very fact that you tuned in to this video shows that you are believing and trusting God to see great things come to pass and you want to push forward and that is a good sign. I encourage you, my dear friend, by the leading of God, push forward in boldness and courage and allow God to be your pacemaker. Don't run too far ahead of Him. Don't fall too far behind Him. But walk in pace with the leading of God. It's absolutely essential as we mature in Christ that we develop this ability to listen to God in real time and follow Him. We have the greatest Spirit in us, the Holy Spirit of God. And He leads us, He guides us, He leads us into all truth. And leading us into all truth also entails leading us in the will of God and leading us in our purpose and destiny and leading us closer to Jesus. Be of good courage and be strong. You have greatness in you. The grace of God is sufficient for His power is made perfect in weakness. Even if you feel weak, understand and know, if God be for us, who can be against us? Therefore, even if you feel weak, you are strong because God is with you. God bless you. Let us go into a time of prayer. We're going to praise God just for a few moments. And as we discern God's presence, then we'll begin to pray. And I know God will bless you. Father, we praise you and we thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy that is released to us today. Thank you for your grace to make progress. Thank you for your grace to go forward and succeed and prosper. Thank you for your grace that is released so that we can achieve great things. And thank you for your word that shows us clearly those who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. They shall do great exploits. And thank you that through Jesus we can know you and we can follow you and we can follow your way. Lead us in the way that leads to life. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now, as we begin, I encourage you, comment and agree and connect in faith. And just believe in your heart. Believe. And God is able to touch you. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Wherever you have called, my dear friend, and you have spoken to my dear friend clearly and confirmed it, in line with your word. And the task at hand seems scary because it is something new. Give my dear friend the courage and the boldness to step out and follow your leading. 
Give my dear friend the courage and the boldness to step out of the boat of comfort, of the comfort zone, and to step into their purpose and destiny, and do great and mighty things in my dear friend's life, so much so that my dear friend will stand in awe and say, this can only be God. This is God. He does great things. And he leads us in the way that leads to life. I give you praise and I thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. God be with you. May the grace of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.